so down today, you know, you have to identify it. And if you, you identify it, you cast it out. You don't allow that spirit to just dwell with you all day because it'll start out as just an influence. But as you don't deal with it, it won't go away. And before you know it, it, it literally will come inside. And next thing you know, this, you, you, you need medication just to get out of bed. All right. So this spirit rules over grief. It can make its entrance through a terrible tragedy where you've lost a loved one. It rules, of course, over depression where you're just sad all the time and you can't seem to snap out of it. It rules over rejection. Rejection is a big one because when you feel rejected and you don't feel like anyone is in your corner or on your side or loves you or any of those things, then again, it's an entrance. It's an open door. And again, it will dwell as long as it's not cast out, it will dwell. All right. Also, uh, this spirit of heaviness rules over low esteem, you know, low self-esteem where you just don't feel good about yourself. Now watch this. It's also ruling over the spirit of gluttony. Now, most people don't realize that when people are overweight or obese, as, as it's been said, and they don't understand their weight problem, most don't even realize it is not what you're eating, it's what's eating you. What is bothering you? Sometimes food becomes the only comfort. It's the only thing that they can control. The only thing that makes them feel good. All right. And so it is that they eat. You know, everything else is going wrong, but at least I can sit down and I can have this meal and, you know, I'm going to feel good. And so this is how many people become overweight, obese. And then, of course, this spirit of gluttony. He's got his entrance now, and he's going to stay right there and, and make you feel like you've got to have this. You need it. You know, it's time to eat again. Well, you just ate 10 minutes ago, but this spirit now is taking control, and most people don't even realize your easiest way to lose weight is not on a diet. Diet, what's the first three letters? Die. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to die, okay? But it's literally to identify this spirit of gluttony. Be honest with yourself. You know, don't allow this spirit to control your life and telling you what you have to do. You need to eat. You got to have this. You got to have that. That's a spirit. Okay. And he'll always say, I, he says, I, so you'll sound like it's you that need this. And, you know, we talk about America being the um, most unhealthy country or most unhealthy nation because of this so-called obesity crisis. Well, I, th I think it's a spirit crisis because most don't know it's a spirit that's influencing them and causing them to overeat and causing them to not be aware of what is going on with their body. And again, it's another way the enemy uses to wipe out God's people. Remember, you know, God gave you life. He said 120 years. He says, with long life, I will satisfy you. Well, if the devil can talk you into eating and overeating, you know, he's talking you into dying sooner than your time. So these are things you need to be considered in terms of 